disappointed. I'm disappointed. Tonight, advocates are upset regarding current conditions at the city of Lansing's only nighttime warming center. That warming center is new this winter. The city said it would spend $800,000 in state money to get it going. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. Controversy surrounding the topic started back in November because the community center that was selected as the warming center is not equipped for people to sleep in. Advocates say that's just one of the many problems with this new program. News 10's Aaron Bowling joins us now from the center with more details. Aaron. Ann and David, at 9 p.m., this building right behind me is going to open its gym doors to serve as a nighttime warming center. The Detroit Rescue Mission Ministries was contracted to staff the center, and they say with a different building, they'd be able to offer a lot more services to the community. Is it the best service that we would love to have? No. But is it enough to save people's life? Yes. The Let's Nighttime Warming Center is one of five across the state that the Detroit Rescue Mission Ministries helps to operate. They say it's also the only one they staff that doesn't offer a place to sleep, food to eat, or a shower. It is the best we can have with the resources that we have at this moment. In a statement to News 10, the city of Lansing said, quote, the Let's Center was chosen after city council requested we use city community centers as temporary warming centers. We have not received the money from the state of Michigan. Once it is available, we will go to council and present a long-term plan to use those funds going forward, end quote. Our homeless sleep worse than our homeless pets that are living in the Capital Area Humane Society down the street. The city of Lansing says people can't sleep inside because of coding issues, a problem that the Detroit Rescue Mission Ministries say would be expensive and time consuming to fix. The city of Lansing says they're using money from their budget to operate the center until state funding comes in. When they're staying in this warming center, offer them counseling, offer them food and water, offer them the basic necessities. Although the city of Lansing was not able to go on camera and discuss the warming center, the Detroit Rescue Mission Ministries say they're just happy they were able to work with the city to get this building open as they're not aware of any cold related deaths in the city from over the weekend. In Lansing, Aaron Bowling, News 10. And we checked in with the city of Jackson to see what they do about warming centers. Spokesperson Aaron Dimmick tells us they do not have an official warming center. They ask people to go to the MLK Recreation Center when it's open. It is not set up to use as a shelter. 